from Pikachu when I see to your soul. I will devour it. I am the one. I am all. I am your wait. Can you hear me? Oh, um, I, 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 I mean... Pika, Pika. So am I the only one that finds the animatronic Pikachu here just a little bit creepy? Hello, my fellow Pokemon trainers! Happy Pokemon Day, and oh, what a Pokemon Day it was! A sleuth of exciting, cool, neat, and new stuff, but of course, what we care about is what's going on in Scarlet and Violet, and there's a lot going on. First and foremost, our Paradox Legendaries hinted in the books have been revealed as... Terror Raid starting today. Yeah, so that's a thing. They look, by the way, I, okay, I say they. Waking Wake, the uh, Paradox Suicune, looks incredible. Our friend Iron Leaves, I mean, less so. Look, I, I don't want to judge, okay? Everyone has their preferences. All I'm saying is, sucks to suck, Violet players! No, I'm joking, all right? It's two really awesome, neat, new Paradox Legendary Pokemon that we can go out and fight and catch now until March 12th, and that is incredibly exciting. A Waking Wake is Terra-type Water, and it is a Water Dragon. Iron Leaves is Terra-type the psychic and it is grass psychic so uh, pretty on point with what we expected though the design definitely differs from the book at least in a walking wakes case though i suppose we never really imagined it might just stand up on its hind legs but dinosaur suicune is such a cool pokemon my god you can be sure ladies and gentlemen that we will be with you with the best way to beat and capture and annihilate these guys easily as soon as possible so you can get yourselves them. Oh, so of course, what do you guys think is the question? And we do see both the signature moves that we got little data mining glimpse of. We've got the psychic bladey cut attack from Iron Leaves. We've got the big blast of watery steam from Walking Awake. So that's really, really awesome. Then we have ourselves, oh, I don't know, the little matter of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC! Yes, it's one DLC but split into two parts and it's looking fabulous! Get this awesome, lovely, charming uh, little live action introduction to it, which is always sweet when that's done. And then we get the big old reveal of both. The second one, this little battle school out floating on the waves, is really, really awesome as well. And this is the hidden treasures of of Area Zero. Part one involving the Teal Mask, a new legendary Pokemon by the name of Ogapon, as we visit a the land of Kitakami as a school trip, which means we are going to go to an area beyond Paldea and explore it, which is really, really cool. And then in part two, we get ourselves the origin of terrestrializing the shiny tortoise that was, of course, also in the Scarlet and Violet book that we have been speculating about endlessly and honestly I think he looks great and he goes by the name of Terragopos, which is quite good, a combination of I assume Galapagos, where the giant tortoises are, and terrestrializing, so that's very much thematically neat. And in that part two, we'll be going as an exchange student to Blueberry Academy, which is this floating water school, which is really, really awesome. This means we'll get new Pokemon in the returning variety that haven't previously been in Scarlet and Violet, so that's very good too. Nice to see Metagross, and honestly, I very much like Vicavolt too. And I imagine there'll be other new, new Pokemon that haven't been revealed yet. Part one, our lovely new Masky friend will be coming in the fall, and then part two with our Terra Tortoise in the winter. And also, if uh, you uh, pre-purchase it, you can get yourself a new little outfit in-game, and you can also get yourself a Hisuon Zoroak out of nowhere that has a few unique characteristics, and obviously it's just a badass Pokemon in general, so that's a really nice little bonus there. 
any case then, how exciting is that? Two very well designed, very cool looking and charming legendary Pokemon, a double part DLC that takes us to two very distinct areas, a whole entire bit of a whole entire other region, and then this awesome like floating battle school academy that will finally give us that much more information on what the hell terrestrializing is. So we kind of get this fun little adventure and then we get down to the nitty gritty of Area Zero properly in part two, both with the real distinct aesthetics and, of course, likely Pokemon. That's really sweet. There's not much else to know about it currently, at least until we deep dive into every frame and look for all the hidden meaning and the theories form and the secrets are revealed. But on the surface, this is where we're at, and I am very, very satisfied with what's on offer here. I'm very glad it got revealed, and I, for one, am very excited. Let me know what you guys think. Think. I guess my only disappointment, ironically, is that I really thought the Paradox, Suicune, and Verizion would be part of the DLC. Though I suppose throwing them in as bonus terror raids isn't the worst thing in the world either. That's going to be fun to crack. For now then, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye